What up, FOC crew? It's your girl, LaToya. And as always, Chris. And we're back with another video. So today we are not doing a challenge, but what are we doing? We're doing a snack crate box. So I found this website where you get snack crates from all over the world. And so our first box, we just got a mystery box. So we actually don't know where it's from, what country it's from, what's in here. So uh, we're going to open it and find out where it's from and taste them and see where it goes from there. And on the subject of mystery boxes, we do intend to possibly purchase some eBay mystery boxes where we will unveil what's in the box. We're thinking maybe we'll do like a $50 box and kind of see where that goes. Seems actually worth $50. So without further ado, let's open this box and see. Um, I'll probably need a knife. Yeah, you need to Okay, so let's start out where this box is from. This box is from <coughs> Hawaii. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, let's see if we can get it to you. I don't know. Oh no, oh no, I don't know. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, so it's from Hawaii. So, so yeah, this should be interesting. This is kind of cool because it gives you like a little like fact sheet about Hawaii, so it kind of tells you like about the population, things to know, fun facts. Hawaii grows nearly 42 acres each year. Uh, snakes are outlawed in Hawaii, including all methods of transport. Surfing was invented in Hawaii, and the Hawaii state fish is a. Do you think you can say that? No. <laughs> it's like a huma, 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 kuna, kuna pao or something like that. <laughs> AKA reef trigger fish. And then the people of Hawaii consume the most spam per uh, capita, which you know of spam. You know of spam. It's in a can. I don't know if I can do it. But. And so, and then also it comes with these two little sheets. It tells you what, what's, what's actually in here. So I'll read some of them. Some of them's like uh, diamond bakery cookies, tapa toffee. Taro shortbread. So we'll try them out and see. So which so, one you gonna try first? The first I'll just grab the one that we have first. We're gonna do the Lily Koi Lil Koi Hawaiian biscuits. I don't know if it focused. Lil Koi Hawaiian biscuits? I don't know what these are made with. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I can I can find them on here. And we're not going to eat all the, the whole bag of snacks, we'll probably just try it. <laughs> you know, you always have to smell it first before you put it in your mouth. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know what that flavor is. What is it? It's a cookie cracker. I don't know. Well, these are the diamond ones? Whatever this fruit is. I don't know what that is. What's the box? What's, what's it look like? Oh, it's this one. Hawaiian biscuits. Crunchy biscuits use tropical fruit flavors. We've included either the little coli or guava. I think that's guava. No, this is a little coli. Oh, okay. So this one, we'll try this one, is uh, Hawaiian kettle style potato chips. Jalapeno. I guess that's how you say jalapeno in Hawaiian with an H. So we'll try these. Crispy and crunchy gluten-free jalapeno pie. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. You want a bigger one? No. Nope. Okay, not bad. The kettle chips are actually good. They're actually pretty good. Halua pino. Halua pino. They're not spicy. And we're like spicy connoisseurs. I think the chips that we get from McAllister's, which is like a sandwich place, actually are spicy. So here's a drink, it's called Lilla Koi Passion, passion fruit juice drink from Concentrate. So... Can you rinse the lid off? No. I'm not just going to put my mouth on it. It's been sitting there a while. And it was my turn to pick, so... Oh. I'm going to get the dried pineapple. That actually sounds like... They're called Island Princess Dried Pineapple. Hmm, that might be good. I'm like, how they just have a little 
tear here, but then it's not a, like a resellable thing. I tied the oh. Interesting. I mean, it smells like pineapple. It's like it has sugar on the outside. It's actually not bad. It tastes like pineapple. Would you eat it again? Mm, that's debatable. <laughs> so I guess we could try the and drink it out of candy for you. You already cleaned it, you might as well just... No. So this is Lilacoy, it's called a Lion Sun Lilacoy Passion. So it's passion fruit. So we'll see what this tastes like. It must be nasty. The way he looked, and he likes everything. <laughs> It's like squirt. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does. <laughs> like squirt soda. We're gonna try these. They're probably not bad. Maui style. Maui onion. Maui onion potato chips. So I guess if we found out it's not necessarily from different countries, it's just like different parts of the island or different parts of like, I mean, Hawaii. I mean, most people. That's pretty good. And this is what these ones look like. What is this? It's ice This is jerk, some kind of jerky. Tuna, you can't read? Oh, tuna jerky. I was like. Are you going to show them the Oh, track? sorry. Oh yeah, it's tuna jerky. It's got a picture of tuna on the thing. So yeah, we'll see. What this I mean, I like tuna, but I'm very specific on where I'm gonna eat it from. So we'll see what his reaction is. I might try like a tiny little piece. Or you want this little piece? I'm not eating no piece this big. I like literally like tiny little piece. Yeah, I won't be eating that again. Yeah. <laughs> like me, I don't really eat fish. I'm not a fish eater. I will get tuna from Subway. That's like the only place. And there's this other place. I'm from Arizona. This like in the hood called Sue's. So if it ain't Sue's fish or Subway tuna, I'm usually not eating fish. <laughs> and that definitely tastes like a fish. Yeah. No, I, my, uh, so we can try these. These are chili, papa, macadamia nuts. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see that? Can you hold the fire? So we'll see how these taste. Maybe if you go to Hawaii, it's better than getting it in a box. I mean, that may be true too. They're not bad. You don't like them? They're not bad, but I'm like, would I go out of my way to eat them? No. <laughs> These uh, Hawaiian cookies, kakamochi, kakamochi, kachimachi, mochi, mochi. What they look like? They look like little baby cookies. They probably have coconut or something. Else. could tell you everything you need to know. I mean, they're not bad, but it has like a milky like. So these are macadamia nuts again, but this is like taro. I'm not exactly sure what taro is. I think it's like some like potato kind of or like a root or something that goes in Hawaii. But we'll see how these taste. 
There was a lot of food in this one. These things are huge. I'm gonna try this one. And these ones. Alright. These things are huge. What is it? Macadamia nuts? You know you want to smell everything before you put at least I do. I gotta smell everything before I put it in my mouth. That probably didn't smell right. No, it didn't. White press, they're like these little stick looking things. These are pineapple flavor. And there's another one in here that's corn coffee flavor. I hate coffee, so I won't be sticking that in my mouth. <laughs> Definitely smells like straight up pineapple. Yeah, it does. See how it tastes. Don't even taste like pineapple. Yeah, it does. Maybe yours did. Mine didn't really have no flavor. Yes, maybe you use these for coffee. I don't know. This is biscuit sticks. Yeah, you stick it the biscuit in the coffee. Is it is really? That what you do? I'm confused because I'm seeing like stuff in here that says it's Hawaiian, but it got Chinese writing on it. There are a lot of there are a lot of Asians in Hawaii. Here's this high chew, acne berry candy. We're probably not gonna try it. So, you wanna try this? Yeah, we try that. This is Asia Trans Rainbow Baits, I guess. This is what the front of it looks like. So we'll see what these taste like. And a lot of these aren't the receivable packages, so it's like we're probably gonna have to eat them within the next couple of days. Isn't there a candy that we have that looks like this, but it's like bigger strips? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of yeah, I think so. Can't think of a candy name. I can't either. If you guys remember the candy name, drop it down in the comments because I'm like, what is this? Super sweet. Would I eat it again? Like really, really sweet. Probably not. Would you eat any of it again? <coughs> I mean, if I had to pick anything to eat again? Probably just the chips. Yeah, because I know what those are. <laughs> Everything else is like, it's either too sweet, doesn't have any flavor, and just not something I would eat. One of the things that we did touch on, that we probably didn't touch on, is that we've been away for a little bit, and it wasn't like we just fell off our <laughs> air conditioner and our house broke for about two weeks, and it was like after the two-week period, because it was like, a hundred some odd degrees in the and house. It was like 90, yeah, I was like 90 degrees. It was degrees. like trying to like enjoy the air conditioner. So now that we <laughs> enjoyed the air conditioner, look, we was, we was over here struggling. I'm going to show y'all really quick before we get off this thing. Look, I was so desperate for air conditioning. I went and bought a portable air conditioner. And don't ask me how this works either. This is what it looked like. This is a little portable air conditioner. So basically, you just pour ice in it. You put some ice cubes in it. Oh, and then our refrigerator stopped working, kind of. What do you mean our refrigerator? Like the ice maker? Well, yeah, during the process with our ice maker and our refrigerator, it's not broken. It just, for, sporadically, it doesn't turn all the way where it starts making ice cubes. So we were out of ice. So we were just over here living the struggle life. And it's like, Try not I to know y'all didn't want to see me naked on camera. And uh, I would have got flagged on YouTube. So. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was over here trying to get by and save a life. <laughs> Our dogs was in here miserable. Everybody we, was miserable. We literally had, like, fans in the, like, at nighttime, we opened the windows, had all fans in the windows. Like, literally had, like, five fans blowing the air at all times. Yeah, it was bad. But our air conditioner, thankfully, was under warranty. So it didn't really cost us that so much. So it didn't really cost us much, but it's just, like, 
it's all fun and games being a homeowner until something breaks and that was like the first major break in it was one of those things where it's like it was covered but then it was going to take time due to covid to get the part or we could have paid somebody to, to fix it like the next day but it's just like do i want to spend fifteen hundred dollars to get this fixed when it's under warranty and i'm going to save a thousand dollars or you know the other option was to just do the whole system and we've only been in this house for five years we built it from the ground up nobody no when you're a homeowner i would like to hope that even if you have the money that you're going to be smart i mean nobody wants to sweat but you know by the grace of God, we got by. We have, but we could have worse complaints. I know that some people have really been struggling during COVID. So yeah, but of course now it's only like seventy degrees during the daytime. So if our air went out, it wouldn't be that big deal. But of course, when it went out, it was like five straight days of over like hundred and three. So yes. if we were dying. And for him, he goes like I'm working from home, so it's like I haven't left the house. So it's like I'm working in heat. I'm sweating, and it's like I'm here. There's no escape for me. Like I could have gone. And just got in my car and went somewhere, but I'm just like, I don't go. Yeah, but at that time, like, I wasn't really inside, so, like, I was outside, and then I come home, and it's still hot. Well, it's cooler. It was cooler outside than it was in the house. Well, I mean, at nighttime, yeah. Period. Well, not really. Well, well it was like a... It's one thing when you have, like, circulating air well, versus yeah. just stagnant air that's not going nowhere. It's well, not yeah, cycling. That's true. It, it was bad. Like at first, I was cool because I'm not. Even, I didn't even notice that the air conditioner was broke. He's the one that noticed, and I was like, I came home with like 80 degrees, and I'm like, is it hot here? She's like, no. I'm underneath the cover. But as day one went by, I was in there like, look. Day three, I was like, look. So yeah. I was worried about my fish tanks in here. I had to put a fan on top of them so they didn't overheat. So yeah, that was our story. We have some bangers coming for y'all. So oh yeah, we'll show you some previews. So yeah, this is one of our videos we have coming up. It's called, I'll bring it closer. It's called the Death Nut. Can y'all see that? And this is the backside. It's like five different levels of, of heat. Mild, mild, medium, hot, and stupid hot. The, the stupid hot one is two-time Carolina Reaper, my Moruga Scorpion, and 13 million Scoville caps, Capsaicin Crystals. So this sucker is gonna be hot. <laughs> So we're gonna do this one when we're both off of work, just in case we have the stomach shits. issues or the shits, whatever. The boo boo, the Hershey squirts. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> let me go get the next one really quick. And you can tell this one's really hot because like the first one has like four nuts and it's like three. And then the last one only has like two nuts in it. So you know those suckers were hot. I mean, you, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but they're like, they're like almost like super red. Like how, that's how dusted they are. Dun, da, da, da. This is the one chip challenge by Pocky. Does it say what those are made with? This is the Carolina Reaper. It just says, do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods. That's, I mean, I eat spicy <laughs> foods, but my stomach don't be. <laughs> So I'll, my ass is probably gonna pay for this. Uh, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or capsaicin. Capsaicin, yeah. Or pregnant. I mean, definitely not pregnant. <laughs> Keep out of reach of children. I would like to hope so because if they accidentally touch their eyes, their butt, or anything like that, they're gonna be on. Fire. We're probably gonna eat that with a glove on. Uh, after touching the chip, wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. So don't go pee. Don't touch your penis. Uh, really. Seek medical assistance if you should experience difficult bre difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. So, yeah, we're about to die. And the funny thing is, we actually have the 2019 chip challenge. We didn't do it. So this is, you know, depending on how this one goes, if we're like, oh, it's not that bad. Unless you want to do the 2019 first and then do that one. We could do 2019 versus 2020. You guys tell us what you think. Uh, but without further ado, like I said, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. We love y'all. We know this video has gone long, and I hope you guys are doing well. And if you have any other spicy challenges you want us to do, drop it down in the comments. Let us know. And we out. Later.